Now joining us right now, great to have him with us, is John Means of the Baltimore Orioles. John, it's Brian Kenny with Bill Ripken and Mike Lowell. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, John, again, you, you came in. Uh, you've had an outstanding season. But tell me, early on in the game, at what point did you think, wow, I really have it going on. I'm feeling pretty good about this. You know, I didn't even realize that I had one until the sixth. And then I, I think the fans helped me here to, to let me know that I had it. And um, a, after that, I just tried to stay calm, not think about it, and, and just go. John, Bill Ripken here. Congrats on the day. Uh, eighth inning, Lewis. I know he caught it off the end a little bit, I could tell on TV, but your reaction, you might have doubted it just for a second right there. Give me the read on that. Uh, I don't, yeah, I play in Camden Yards, so that's gone <laughs> all day in Camden. So I, I, I thought it was way out, and when Hayes caught it at the wall, I was, I, I just could finally breathe. Uh, yeah, it's definitely holding my breath. John, Mike Lowell here, congrats. Outstanding performance. Hey, going back to your last four starts of 2020. I mean, four great outings, 1.5 ERA. Is there something that you did at the end of last year that helped you carry on with this momentum? Because th your start is basically mirroring your last four starts of last year. Yeah, uh, you know, for most of last year, I was I was pitching angry, pitching like you know, trying to mow everybody down, and, and I really tried to keep my keep my calm, keep my cool. I'm not an angry pitcher, so I gotta go out there, be a calming presence, and, and that's what I'm just trying to. Trying to emulate, and uh, you know it's obviously working right now. John, we were showing a lot of your pitches, and you seem to you're you're right on the outside, the black of that plate, or you're throwing changeups inside. Give us something on your your philosophy on your uh, on the art of your pitching. Hmm. I don't think too much. I just hit the glove, see glove, hit glove. That's all, baby. <laughs> uh, just, I just I, I I just know how to pitch, I guess. Uh, John, talk a little bit about the squad here. It, it seems the Orioles are in a bit of a rebuilding mode as, as conversation goes. But nightly, you watch this team. They compete, and they're playing in a pretty good division. But it doesn't seem like you have any sort of Ray-itis or Yankee-itis. Talk about the squad and the mentality going forward. You know, I think we have a really exciting team to watch, to be honest with you. I mean, we got Hay Mullins leading the league in hits or, or close to. We got Hayes who's about to break out, tracing the ball really well. We've got some hitters on our squad, and, and we have, I think, it's like the fifth best uh, bullpen in the league. So I, I think we're going to be a lot better than people think, and, and this whole 0.0% .0 stuff, uh, I think it motivates us too. <laughs> well, I didn't see that. Is that, is that, the, is that the, the odds of you guys getting the playoffs? <laughs> Yep, that's it. Wow, okay, so they're watching that. <laughs> that's good to have a little chip on your shoulder. Hey, John, you mentioned see glove, hit glove. It reminds me a little bit of Mark Burley. You know, he's a guy, I think he had a perfect game or a no-hitter. So yep. the relationship with you and Pedro Severino, is this something that you really have to, um, I guess, rely on, have the confidence with, or is it just a game plan you guys put together and just whatever he puts down? Are you, are you ever shaking him? Uh, yeah, very rarely, very rarely. We've been we've been together for three years now. He knows what I want. I know what he wants, and we're usually on the same page. I mean, I, we did we had a lot of fastballs inside today, so that's what the main focus was to get that change up good away, and and it worked today. John, are you going to work on your strikeouts, not getting away from the catcher? <laughs> that's a that's a joke, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, no, but that's the hey, only guy to reach. Yeah, happens to everybody. Got, yeah, got on. So what, what? Do you remember that at all? I mean, I don't know. It was third inning. It was a while back now. But what was your read on that? Yeah. Uh, you know, I was honestly just glad I threw a good curveball. My curveball was kind of struggling, so finally threw a good one to strike him out. And, you know, I, I wasn't, like I said, I'm not an angry pitcher, so I got to keep my cool when, uh, when things like that happen. All right, you know, t 27 up, 27 down. Uh, that's all you can do. John, congratulations to you. Again, it's, uh, it, I think it puts you on the radar out there. You've been an outstanding pitcher for a few years, and I think this will get some attention. Congratulations to you today. Uh, thank you.